world is at a turning point and we have to make a decision. Are we going to put all of our money and our energy and our ideas into the machinery of violence, into nuclear weapons, new generation of nuclear weapons, bigger weapons, smarter weapons, to do what? What is security? Security is human well-being. So we are calling, and in partnership with all of the people we brought together in our forum, we are calling for a shift from fear to confidence, from war to peace, from violence to human rights as a prevention of violence. Karen Ryan is the Senior Policy Advisor on Human Rights and Special Representative on Women and Girls for the Carter Center. She works with former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former First Lady Rosalind Carter on a range of issues, including assisting their efforts on behalf of victims of human rights violations through personal interventions with heads of state. Recently, she facilitated discussions between a group of human rights activists from around the world with U.S. Senators Chris Murphy and Kirsten Gillibrand. If American policymakers would only hear from the voices of those who are really on the front lines, struggling for human rights, struggling for peace, we could have an impact. Because, you know, sometimes when policies are made, people sit around a table, it's very abstract. But when you hear from people directly affected by the violence in the world, by U.S. foreign policy, you can actually create a human story that they can relate to and say, this, this is not acceptable. We're not going to allow it to be. And this year, we really wanted to focus on how, how the normalization of violence in the world, including in U.S. foreign policy, is really impacting the very people who have to succeed at promoting human rights and democracy in the world. What's really wonderful is each one of our guests were very specific, with very specific suggestions about what the U.S. can do. So I think we were, our group was very effective at communicating the priorities uh, of human rights defenders and peace activists. And we will not give up. It might be difficult, but you have to start somewhere. And that's what we're doing. Thank you.